So what's up, everybody? I'm going to do a couple <clears throat> separate videos. Excuse me. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> so I I talked to someone high up at Sam Ash. Sam Ash is shutting all the stores down as of right now. <clears throat> but what a lot of people don't understand is Sam Ash is for sale. So you could buy Sam Ash, but you don't get everything. Because what they have done is they have like seven to ten companies under the Sam Ash Enterprises, Sam Ash LLC, Sam Ash Warehouse Management. They have a bunch of companies. Michael Kelly is one. That's for sale. Samson's another. That's for sale. Sam Ash Stores are for sale. Sam Ash Warehouses are for sale. They're separate. But it is for sale. Now, somebody, I don't know who may come in, buy them, and Sam Ash remains open. And uh, because they do have, I don't I, I don't know how much they're asking that I wasn't privy to. I'd have to call and find out which companies or what money. So if you're interested, call Sam Ash up in New York. I'm sure that they, and Sam Ash Brothers, and the family are out of it. They hired a management company to shut it down. So you won't even get to talk to them personally. Somebody is handi handling the affairs for them. Just so you guys know. Because no one's talking about. All they know is Sam Ash is closing because they have a friend that works there. But they don't know the whole story. So that is the update for that. Sorry I'm losing my voice. I was singing. <clears throat> um which I, I'll post a Reels video in a little bit. <clears throat> I went to see Queensryche and Armored Saint at the Culture Room. Now Todd, the singer, is in the second version of Queensryche. And he was sick, because where I was, and you'll see the video wasn't that good, because I really didn't hold it up and see what I was doing. I just held it up and wa while I was watching him. But there's only like 30 second or 20 second clips. But the actual, um, he was coming over, I was by the stairs that went down on the side, upstairs, and uh, I saw him coming over where I was at, and he kept drinking hot tea and spitting in a bucket that was marked for him. So uh, he was sick, but let me tell you, he killed it. He sounded un unbelievable. I haven't heard a singer sound that good in a long time. His voice was on point. He was hitting notes that I didn't even know he could hit. Um, he was actually going higher than Tate. Um, but he, they did take hold of the flame, Queen of the Reich. And he was holding the notes and he was singing it. <clears throat> and I hit some of the notes with him to see how high he was going. And he was going, I can do the Jeff Tate highs. But I couldn't get to where he was at. And he had, his pitch was perfect. So I just wanted to update you. So if you're interested, uh, maybe I'll do a reels later. I'll go through some of the videos. So if you want to see the Queensryche stuff that I, I heard, um, you can take a look at that. Now what I, I, I will tell you, I, I did go to Sam Ash and buy, it's called the Q6 3P. And it's a three pack. Of sure, I, I told these were made at the Sure factory, but they're Samson's and they got the on off switch. Come three pack of mics with the three clips, it's 79 bucks. Great deal. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it wherever. They don't sound like, like a hundred dollar mic or a hundred and fifty dollar mic, but they're close. They're a little thinner sounding, which I kind of liked because I can roll off some of the highs, mids, and turn up some of the like mid lows and stuff which, which most mics have too much of um and i got a three pack of uh xlrs 18 foot 20 bucks so they do have some good deals um even though they're only at 10 percent off right now but again sam ash is closing all the stores as of right now but the fate of them is undecided someone may come in and buy samson which I would think like a new X or somebody that wanted to get into speakers 
because they do have their speakers aren't really powerful but they're very clean sounding um and then you have michael kelly guitars which are made at the prs factory so maybe prs picks up michael kelly or another company like Schechter buys them out who knows i i don't know but they're divided up all the companies are for sale so it'll be interesting i have a feeling that someone's gonna buy sam ash probably a Chinese company but it would be interesting to see could be could be anybody Yamaha is big enough to buy them then they put most of their products in Yamaha keyboards whatever and I talked to Chris about some of it like ideas I'm not gonna go over all the ideas we we were even talking about open um, a music store where they're at now it's big, but I want to do guitars, keyboards, and stuff differently. Um, times are changing, but I would like to do something different. Maybe in a, even instead of a bar, maybe we get a liquor license, and after nine o'clock it shuts down and turns into um, where we have cages where all the stuff is off, and then the center. It, it turns into a show with a bar. Um, I'm going to do a video on this next. It's the AVT Marshall. So if you see this video, um, some of the YouTube people gave it some bad reviews. But I'm going to plug my fractal into it as well as show you with um, my, my zoom pedal. I put, um, I put it with the Tube Screamer to hear it. It sounds exactly like this. So... Um, you can buy this for a hundred bucks, or you can buy one of these for a hundred bucks. This has all the effects built into it. Um, so stay tuned for that video. I wanted to get, give you guys a small little update on Sam Ash with all the real information. A lot of these guys on YouTube just spot off what they hear, you know, for views and talking and they they BS you a little way to get you to view the minutes and everything and I'm going to do a video on some of that coming up because again if you're new to the channel this is a I don't I don't bullshit around I I buy all my stuff I don't ask for anything so there's no disclosures I can't show you on how I review gear see there's a lot of stuff that they don't tell you on you these youtubers they have to sign an, a disclosure deal before they get the product and in that disclosure, they're not allowed to talk about their deal. Only that YouTube says that if you get gear, anything for free, that's considered compensation. You're getting paid for it. And the thing is, like I said in the past, if you're getting free gear, you're not going to knock on everybody. Because if you have a reputation of being a, a YouTuber that doesn't like a lot of this stuff and you bash it, they're not going to give it to you and I don't really give a shit because I again you know I, I don't care <laughs> I don't make my money from this channel I don't do edited channels I don't do a big intro I don't have a fancy amp rack behind me you know there, I got plenty of stuff but it is a working studio I do write in here for major artists so that I will say um, if you don't know what I do um, I've been signed a couple times and I have Grammys. Maybe we'll take the Grammys out and display them in, out of the box. I don't have pictures hanging up of me and famous people, all that. It's just not my nature. So stay tuned for the other video. I wanted to give you guys an update. And that's some of the gear I bought. It comes with a case. Q6, three mic pack, three cables. So I spent like $110, three, three XLRs and three mics for rehearsals because we rehearse here. If a mic goes bad, then I got an extra one. Again, I use Audix mics and stuff like that, but I really don't want other people saying my mics. And again, I do have a Shure PXG, which is a, let's see, where, what do I do with it? It's a wireless headset. Okay. And I don't 
remember if I showed you guys. So I use a Sure Wireless. It goes around your neck, sits in front of you like that. You can adjust it, whatever. This is the, the unit it comes with. It's sitting under the fractal, but it's small. It goes in the case and whatnot. But again, it's not budget friendly. It's a PGX or PXG or PG, I don't know. They're like $6.99 or $5.99, $7.99, who knows. But anyway, that I recommend. I do recommend these mics, you know, for like intermediate stuff. If you want to take them into a bar and they get stolen or you leave them behind, who gives a shit? The bars don't really care how good your cover band is. They just want to see how much you ring your register and how many friends you bring. So that's the whole game of that in a nutshell. But anyway, we'll do some more videos coming up. Again, stay tuned. I'm going to run the fractal and pedal through that so you can hear both. Peace.